I'm Marcel with Antelope Audio. We're at NAMM 2017, Anaheim, California, and we're just getting some uh, user reactions and testimonials. And Martin Nessie uh, works with Umberto Gatica, has worked with Josh Groban, Michael Buble, uh, Ricky Martin, um, recently again, uh, Celine Dion, Celine. So, um, and you've used Antelope for quite a while. So we were just showing you the new Ryan 32 HD, and you, I wanted to kind of share your initial thoughts or your reactions to just being able to use like Pro Tools Logic together and what that means to you from a studio user, from a standpoint of, of working. Yeah, I, th I think that um, I think that it's a first impression. I mean, the flexibility of being able to use um, two different DWs and, and integrate them on the same you know, interface is just incredible. I mean, creatively, you can do whatever you want. And when you're working with different people that come from different you know, school. Some people like to work with Logic, some people like to work with Protoss, some people like to work with whatever, you know. You don't have to be doing this bouncing back and forth or inputting Logic into Protoss and then having to, you know, like sync this stuff manually, like the, the drums, you know. Um, even though you can sync it, but you know, you just go into cables and if they don't have an interface that has, you know, time code and blah, 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 you start going to this thing. But if you're doing the same interface, you know, it's back and forth, you know? Sorry, I'm, I'm stealing the mic from you. Just just to add to that, yeah. you can have a one digit port connected to this, and then a USB 3 cable. So you, you just have a USB 3 cable ready to go, the guy brings his session in, you just plug into it, and then a, you know, a Compertos console, it would all show up there. You could create a, a, a preset, you could just flip, and have all that routing go right to your, uh, to your desk, and then you're working in logic. And, and the other thing is, you know, a lot of people, like when you're referencing something, like I myself have stuff that I have imported into Pro Tools, but some people come in the studio, oh, have you heard this new song from blah, 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 and you have to like go to iTunes or Spotify. So you have two options to do that. Option one, you have to have the computer audio hooked up to your monitoring controller, like Satori or whatever you have, right? And you have to have it in an input. So now you're converting with crappy conversion. So a phone or something. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. Second option is you have it hooked up. Some people hook, hook it up to Pro Tools or to Logic so that they can monitor, you know, what they're outputting from their thing. Another option is to have another interface. You know, some people have an additional interface, so they have their Orion 32 or their Orion 32 Plus, you know, MADI or whatever they use it, but you have to have an additional interface just to play a song. To play, so you have to hook that up to your Satori or to your monitor controller and then, you know, back and forth. With this box, you just hook up one USB, you have all the writing in front of you and you can just go from monitoring Pro Tools, you know, monitoring YouTube, Spotify, iTunes, whatever you want to monitor and, and, if you want, you can be, if you want to be cheap, you can record the output of iTunes into Pro Tools. Just wrote, printed it live. <laughs> you know, or Spotify. Right. So, I mean, that, that, and, and, that's super. And we, and we talked a little bit with Greg Wells about someone bringing another computer in. You can also do this within the same computer, like as we're doing here. We're playing Pro Tools and we're playing Logic, or I can play a song in iTunes. I don't have to close Pro Tools. I don't have to switch to Core Audio. It's there. Core Audio is active in the interface at all times. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, and, and Avid Core Audio hasn't worked in some time. So I'm, I'm going to say it because it's the truth, you know? I'm not going to. So it's, it's, it's hard because when you want to play something from your computer and you don't have Pro Tools open, you have to. Pro open Pro Tools, or you have to hook up your, your interface or, you know, and USB yeah. mode, change your routing, you know, there's there's so many different things that you can... Yeah, I want to be fair, I want to be fair because I did hear they've improved that no, yet no, again. They, they, fixed it, they fixed it in 12. Right, in 12, but, so they did, I'm not here to, to, to <laughs> diminish anybody. So they fixed it in 12, but you still have to close Pro Tools and switch to Core Audio. Correct. And Correct. in this sense, you don't. You leave it open and just play your iTunes. Yeah. No, no, no. It's not. It's not to talk bad, but it's you know, it's the truth. I mean, it, it didn't work like it used to work in Pro Tools 8 or Pro Tools 9. It hasn't worked that well since 9, 10, 11. It hasn't worked that well. But now they got, they fixed it. But you have to do that. You have to turn off Pro Tools and open this thing, 
and you know, etc., etc., etc. Not a real fast loading job. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the cool thing is you don't need to, you know, and sometimes when you have some people up the USB 3, you know, it's I don't know if you can use the, the term hot swappable. They can just, you yes, know, you like, can, yeah, you can. Yeah. But with the HDX stuff, it needs to stay plugged. It in. needs to stay plugged. In. Right. So. You know, that's another That's thing. another cool aspect because you could be working on your DAW and USB 3 and, and then that with two DAWs and then that producer or that artist comes in. You just, it is, USB 3 is hot swappable, so you would just unplug it and plug it in. So, yeah. yeah. So they would be immediately accessible to your monitoring. Yes. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's pretty cool. So, well, thanks, Martin, for coming You're by welcome. and thanks for, great to see you again and appreciate you sharing some thoughts. Thank you.